Thank you, Holly. Now, following on from the Edinburgh Fringe, as well as sellout seasons across Australia, we now have Hop Brown Honey, creator and musical director Busty Beats, as well as performer Awful Four Two with us right now. This promises to be political theatre like New Zealand audiences have never seen before, and it sounds absolutely amazing. Welcome, ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I really want to touch your hair, Busty, but I'm not allowed to, am I? No. no. Don't touch their hair. Yeah. I, I was reading and it says that we can expect a fearless, sticky performance. I mean, what is it all about? <laughs> well, it's, um, Hop Brown Honey is a theatrical explosion. So of colour, culture and controversy. Mm -hmm. So you really need to, like, we, we say to people, come on in. Come in with all your preconceptions and let them be shattered. Oh, that sounds Whoa. good. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. So, uh, so this show was written before Trump and before the Women's <laughs> March, mm -hmm. um, but you really do tap into some social commentary, don't you? Can yes. you explain yeah. a bit more about how that works? Um, well, all of the the honeys, we all have um, global First Nations backgrounds, and um, we all intersect in Australia. So um, basically, we're telling our stories yep. and um, where we've kind of, uh, we celebrate our differences and our similarities. Mm -hmm. And this has been, um, we found that to be a platform where a whole heap of people want to come and see that and, and feel that as well. Yeah. You know what's really funny? When you're talking, I keep losing sight of, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, So, Buster, you're yeah. also, you're South African Australian? Yes. And offer your Tongan, Tongan Australian. Australian. Yes. So how does it, what, what's the Tongan perspective on the show? Mm. Uh, I guess it's, it's, I think it's for all of us, we have that similar experience of, you know, not being a, well, being a First Nation person, but of a different country, living in a different country. Mm. So that whole idea of growing up in Australia, what it's like, um, we, we share that as a common thing, but specifically uh, Tongan wise, uh, you know, I have like lots of memories of, of people touching my hair. Um, I have a Fijian <laughs> heritage. Um, so my hair is a bit more Afro than uh, some of my cousins. They have very nice GHD straight hair. <laughs> so uh, so um, things that are particularly for me as a Tongan is like even just na name pronunciation just growing up. And so I just remember trying to be cool and trying to fit in, pretending my name was Nicole. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, mum didn't didn't take like <laughs> uh, yeah. But then just you know devising up ways to help people with understanding where my name comes from and how to pronounce it. So Ofa mm. Fotu is the the way. Yeah. So yeah. I used to go o Ofa, offer me an apple, offer me this. Right. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. No, just like she had to teach me. Yeah. <laughs> and you were saying that's a really it's a really common name. It's like yeah. the equivalent. You said of John. John Smith, yeah. even. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Busty, was was you know has there been avenues for you to explore this type of creative? Activity before or is this the reason why you did it? Pretty much the reason why we did, did it. Me and the director Lisa Falafi, um, we have been making work um, kind of throughout Australia for a really long time and we really recognised there weren't really platforms for women of colour and women with our experiences mm. as well like and we're really funny and silly and <laughs> that's where we found a real connection too in our laughter. Yeah. Um, so we just went right now it's time. Let's yeah. let's make this. Let's make this a platform. Well, speaking yeah. of making it happen, um, mm -hmm. offer. Uh, wh yeah. wh what am I going to see if I come along to the show? What am I going to see? You are going to see uh, some very fierce, sticky performances where uh, we have uh, six women of colour being proud of who they are, sharing their individual stories. Do they sing? They sing. Yes. Uh, but... We've got circus. We've got uh, beatboxing. We've got uh, mm. dance. We've got all of these different things that are melded into one. Cabaret in there? Cabaret, absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Oh, yeah. So. yeah, we do have Ho Pami, who is like Maori, and she's, uh, you know, one of the top beatboxers in the world. Wow. Yeah. And you've actually written a song too. You were talking about your hair and yeah. how important it is. You've, you've got a song about hair in the show? Mm -hmm. don't, yep, don't touch my hair. Because that's all I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's enticing, but it's also just don't do it. We, I just can't be held responsible for what Busty might do to anybody. Uh, who touches yeah. the hair. Oh, got yeah. it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, oh, I just so want to touch just to see what's going to happen, but I won't. I won't. Uh, it is time to take a break. We'll be back in a minute. Find out more about this amazing <laughs> performance, which you can go and see. So we'll be back straight after this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 
Welcome back. We're here with Busting Offer from Hot Brown Honey. Now, I must ask you, Busty, your mm -hmm. character yes. is Queen Bee. Yes. What's it all about? The Queen Bee is like the re basically the keeper of the word of the mother. So, um, yeah, I am able to like stand on the top of a giant beehive <laughs> yes. and basically direct what's going on <laughs> from my position as the DJ. You sound like the Beyonce. On yeah. the show. I was just thinking, <laughs> yeah, no. Beyonce before it was She's Beyonce. Quite an influence, yeah. yeah. And we're her twins. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's it's really taking on, and, and there's, like, you know, ideas around, like, pop culture and um, and social activism. It's like we're really mashing the two together and going, you can be all of this. You Ooh. don't have to choose one thing. Yeah. Sounds hot. I, yeah. Oh, so you must go and see the show. And to offer, you're an incredible soul singer, I hear. Oh, thank you. You've worked with some impressive people. Can you go through some of them you've worked with? Uh, yeah, I've been on tour uh, with everyone from Ben Harper, to Rufus Wainwright. Um, I just play in a band that's from Perth, Western Australia, uh, called Odette Messiana Soul Atomics. And so, yeah, I've just had an opportunity, which is what I bring to the show. So nice. I bring the singing aspect of wow. it. Yeah. But we all do it. So yeah. it's kind of It nice. sounds like such an incredible matter when you're trying <laughs> to describe it. And mm -hmm. you also, Busty, have got a, a background that's slightly different to this. Yes. Uh, you were in an indie band. Yes, and I you, was. You, you were in Big Day Outs. <laughs> yeah, in the we were Big Day Outs. Played with a few of the Flying Nun records. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's back in the day there. What was the name of the band? Uh, Spitter Figure Her. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so indie. I know, and I think we were ahead of our time too because now there are bands just called Exclamation Mark, Exclamation Mark. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what was the problem there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, this festival, um, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, let's talk yeah. about that because I, I heard you guys won an award. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell we us did. some more about that? We won um, the Total Theatre Award which is one of the UK's um, major theatre awards and yeah. we won it for innovation, experimentation and playing with form, yeah. which was awesome. I mean, it was so awesome. Yeah. It, it, like, just to be able to get to where we, we are, to be able to get overseas was a success for us. Yeah. So that, that on top of it and having... It was a really successful season mm -hmm. over there too. It was... Amazing. Yeah, we sold out pretty much the whole thing. I think yeah. uh, apart from our first opening night, yeah. um, it was sold out. And then the obviously people yeah. heard what you're yeah, all about. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. Even even offer you were saying before how yeah. you didn't know what the show was about oh, when absolutely. you were joining the mm -hmm. the, the, the yeah. gang. Yeah. yeah. Um, because you can't. It, it's hard to describe, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's a, like even in that first experience, it was um, you know putting me in place for another as a singing role. And um, when I got the call and read the emails, it was just very oh yeah you'll see a bit of this and this like how we're talking <laughs> yeah. but it's very much about being in the audience and experiencing it and I still remember the shivers and the laughter my stomach was so sore <laughs> and from laughing mm. yeah. and, and your family have they seen the show uh, no that we haven't gone to Perth Western Australia Ooh. yet but um, I've got a brother that uh, it will be coming along <laughs> and that'll be interesting to see. <laughs> Whereas, uh, you know he's the eldest where there's se uh, seven of us all up and he'll be the eldest and he'll be one of the first to actually be able to see the show. So. Wow. <laughs> and there's a bit of audience participation as well. Oh yes. Well we say at the top of the show, as soon as you walked in the door, you're now complicit with the word of the mother. Yeah. <laughs> And the doors are locked. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to stay and you have to be a part of this. So you don't want to catch anyone on their mobile phones doing a subtle like, little tweet or something because that'll be trouble. We no. say if we catch you, you get stung. But if you do it sneaky, you got to ha hashtag, gotta hashtag us. us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Busty, what do you want mm. people to take away from the show? Clearly fun yep. is, is, yep. is a big part of it. I mm -hmm. mean, nothing like going to a show where you're sore from laughter. <laughs> but clearly <laughs> there's some political yeah. messages in there as well. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, at, at the end of the day, we're in a state in the world where it, it's urgent. We need to change this world urgently and we need to look at the ways that we can do it, whether it be in a big way or whether it be just every Every day in a small way making that commitment to change and commitment to going no I want a better world for our children and we want a better world for, for the future yeah yeah and we want to reflect that for the next generations we want them to be able to see what they are on stage front and center as lead characters rather than supporting ones where they're the maid or service awesome. acts of service yeah, yeah.
Oh, so much fun! <laughs> yeah. It sounds yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, no, and you too. I can feel the energy. It's incredible. Yeah. What a buzz having you. Excuse the pun. <laughs> 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 the amazing Hot Brown Honey is part of Auckland Pride and is on right now, playing up until Saturday at the LTS Centre. Check out the Auckland Live website for all the ticket information. Thanks so much, guys.